Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. I'm Marivox and in today's video we're here at Nordhagen Beach and continuing our build series. So in the first episode, which was of course the last one, I built this gate slash guard station combo with a turret here and then I added this kind of office building check-in station. So this is kind of like the person who's in charge of security, uh, any newcomers would go in there and check, you know, check in, be like, this is what I'm here for, body law. Um, I also added this uh, recruitment beacon so we could get some more settlers, try to get, you know, some of the guard stations filled out and up our security because we are in a precarious place here at North Hagen Beach. On one side, we've got a super mutant hideout down there, all the way at the end of this little peninsula, that building down there that I'm pointing at. And then over on this side, we have the raiders who like to host uh, robots races. So. A lot of a uh, lot of a lot of enemies around. We're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. So in today's video, we're going to be uh, building up the barracks. So just kind of a station for where um, people that are on guard duty can stay during the, maybe their 24 hour like guard rotations. They have to go to get a couple hours shut eye. Um, and we're also going to have another guard tower kind of attached to it, but it's not going to be like these. I'm going to actually build it out of like the wood scraps. So let's get started. Okay. So I'm going to start just like I did with my other builds. I wanted, I think in the last episode, I said I wanted all of my foundations to be kind of like this shack flooring with the um, almost like a pier kind of look to it. All right. And then we're going to add another one here. And I'm trying to bring this out a little bit, mostly because like there's this plant life that I just, I don't want it to be too tall, but I also just don't want it to cut in. So I'll add some furniture there to kind of block that out. But I also didn't want the telephone pole to getting my way like it did in the last episode or the one over there did anyway all right so now for walls i'm gonna put this one here i want to bump out on this side but i think i want this one all right and then can i do a bump out here no not letting me okay so then i think i have to put in the end caps before i can put other walls in then Oop, nope wait snap in there there you go. Okay. And then the middle one here. And then I think I want to do this wooden one right there. Um, and then I want another about on this side. Maybe this one? Yeah, I like that one. I like that one's look. And then a door. And then I'm going to need stairs to get into this because it's a little bit high up. All right. Okay, so then I'm also just going to build the, um, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I almost forgot these. Need them. Those little end caps, pesky end caps. Ah, uh, I'm going to have to move this, huh? Here you go. You sit there, and then in you go. There. Okay. Whew. Okay. So I'm just going to build the kind of guard tower right off of this. Um, oops, went too far out. So then I'm going to add a foundation on here. I'm going to add a second floor right up top there. And then the next test, I want to get the, the bump out wall with the flat top so I can add some flooring. This one. Yeah. Right here. Okay, wait, I gotta get rid of these. Which I guess is a good thing because they're gonna be kind of useless and I need the steel. Awesome, okay. All right, and then end cap. Oh wait, I need to move that. Let's do the wooden one there and then the metal one here. Awesome, okay, and let's put you right back there. Um. And then I'm gonna do little one tile floors here on top of that. So we can have a walkway up. Perfect. Okay. Next, I need to put in stairs so that we can get up there. Okay. Oh, and I need to put a wall in here. Maybe I should have done that one already. Oh, okay, nice, it snaps. Wonderful. Love that. Love it when it's easy. Okay, so I've got this little place down here. I'm kind of, hmm. 
this needs to have a way up from the front. So I'm probably going to put a ramp out here. But do I want to put a bump out wall or do I want to do a flat wall? That's my question. I think I'm going to do a flat wall. But not one of these. Um, maybe this one. Are you? Okay, it was sitting on there. Hmm. Yeah, okay. And then let me get... Um, I think I'm going to do... There's, there's this cool roof trick that I saw somebody else do a while ago. I didn't want that one. I'm going to get one of the warehouse roofs. And do the pillar glitch. There we go. And just kind of push this up against the bottom of the floor there. Hold on. I hate that it's in that spot, but... Okay, hold on. I didn't put the pillar tall enough. It needs to be... It needs to be a little bit higher, not so far sunk into the ground. There we go. Alright. That should work much better. Alright, so then once I just kind of put this in here... Yeah, and so now they can just walk right up. Fabulous! Okay. So now let me put this away, and I kind of want to do something about this gap. What can I do here? Can I put, I wonder if I can do like um one of these here. Oh, that looks weird. Hmm. Hmm. It's a question for sure. Big question. I could, but I feel like this is just floating. I want to put a beam across. What to do? What can I do? Hmm. I'll come back to that later. I do need a, a pillar, though, to go right here. So that this bit of floor doesn't look like it's floating. It needs that. I kind of wish I could put these at the corners, though. It feels like they should go at the corners, but, you know, they don't. So it's a little bit annoying. Wait. 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 No, that's not going to work. I was wondering if I could put, like, a wall here and then, like, wall this off so it's just kind of like this L shape. But I don't want to lose this nice space underneath that. Underneath the stairs. I feel like I kind of need that. Hmm. I guess I could put... No? I don't know. That would make it a bump out. I don't know if I want it to be a bump out. Yeah. I think that's basically going to be what it is. Okay. So then let's get some railings on here. So we have some actual safety. Yeah. I just That's not going to work. Just, let's just get these put up here, I guess. Okay. Um, can I put this one? Maybe, yeah. Nice. Um, oh, roof. Hold on. Let me get a roof on here first. Nice. Okay. Uh, now the test is going to be if I can put, if my fences are, yeah, they are squishy enough. Love that. Love that. Okay. Um, make another one here. Maybe you here, you there, and um, there we go. Okay, so up here, this is the guard tower, basically. So they come up from here. I need to add a guard station. So let me go ahead and go into defense, add guard posts. I just want the single one here. I want to get it as close to that fence as I can possibly get it. Hold on. Yeah. So we have plenty of room here. Awesome. Okay. And then I want to add a little 
not that. A little bench up here. I feel like we're gonna need a little table as well for light. Not the table. I need. I need the. I, just, I went right over chairs, didn't I? Wow. Okay. Well, it looks like I need to go hunting for some plastic for this place. Eventually, I don't. I don't need anything right now that requires plastic, but soon maybe. All right. I'm just gonna put a little candle on here. If it will. Come on. There we go. Okay. Um. Maybe not a candle. We're going to need a, something that's got a cover on it. Because a candle won't stay lit. Goodness gracious. How long does it take to load? All right, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Here we are. Some nice little light. Awesome. Okay, so now we have a little guard station up here. I wonder, if, can I add a turret on this side? Well, I have some space here. I guess I put a turret stand there. Hmm. And maybe one over here, but I, I might want to wait for the build that's going to go in this corner before I do that. All right, now down here, I feel like this would be hmm, a good place for some storage, potentially. Let's get one of the big metal like counter thingies in here. These, yeah. Okay, and then maybe some weapons racks up top here. Let's go into, uh, not miscellaneous, I need display. And weapon rack, awesome. Not those, yeah, I want these. Just to kinda, whoa, there we go. I'm gonna put it all the way across. Now I know normally, um, you know, this isn't, I'm not gonna call this an armory because I'm not gonna consider it an armory. Uh, normally you wouldn't have your weapon storage just kind of out for anybody to be able to get to, but you know, actually I don't like that there. Ah, no, <laughs> no, why did it do that? Oh no, okay, hold on. I thought I had the weapons racks uh, selected, but I guess not. Let me fix that. Where? Okay, walls. Um, please let me snap it back in place. Please, 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 please. No! Can I put you in now? Oh, okay, it was just that I had the... Well, that wasn't fun. Okay, um, furniture. Let's go back to containers and put this thing back in here. Turn you around. Okay. Anyway, what I was saying is that normally uh, I think an armory wouldn't have, you know, their weapons just kind of hanging out for anybody to, to grab. Um, but this is just kind of like, you know, where you can maybe work on the weapons, I guess, when you're off duty or, you know, where you can go, I don't know. Just some storage extra. It's just, I'm not going to lock it. It's just going to be open. So hopefully nobody uses it, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. It's not, maybe not the smartest plan to put it there, but um, I guess I could ultimately, mm, I just don't know how to make that, make it so that it's harder to get in here. All right. I want to put a little chair under here so that people can sit. Again, on those 24 hour shifts, they gotta have some breaks. Ooh, okay, I hate that they do that. Why are they all floating at the top of my screen? Just, ah! Okay, let me move you. There. Awesome, okay. And then I think a lantern on here, cause you don't wanna be working on your weapons in the night, you know, in the darkness. Gotta have some good light. There we go, okay. Nice. Now, what can I do to make this a little bit more secure? Hmm. Huh. What can I do? What can I do? I don't know. I kind of like it as it is, just kind of open like this. We'll see. We'll see if it works, but. Hmm. I'll see what I'll, ah, 
I don't know, maybe I end up making like a an enclosed kind of work area in here, but that might, I don't know. We'll see, I still have to, I still have to get the barracks put together. Let me do that first and I'll keep thinking on it. Okay, so barracks, we, looks like we need some beds. Um, why did I go to chairs? I need, not chairs, okay. <laughs> I just went into furniture and I was looking at the chairs. Anyway, all right, so beds, we're just gonna get a couple more of these put in here. This will hopefully encourage more settlers to join us at the settlement so we can get a few more people working in defense and any other jobs that I'll put in here. I usually use these for like clinics and stuff, but I feel like they'd also be good for, you know, barracks since they're kind of, you know, these look like barrack bunks, honestly. Move this up some. Okay, so let's put some foot lockers at each one. There we go. All right, well, where are you gonna go? There we are, all right. And then one here. Come on, sit. Where are you gonna, come on. Oh my gosh. Ugh, so finicky. And this one having no trouble. Wow. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a big cabinet in here to try to hide this um, plant life. Maybe another little one there. Okay, that does hide the plant life nicely. Uh, this could probably go back a little further. Okay, sorry for the blinking there. <laughs> All right, um, now I need to add some light. Now, I guess the question is, no, I know it now. We're gonna put little tables at each one of these with a little lantern on it so that each bunk has a light rather than just putting one little measly torch or lantern or whatever on the counter there. And then I think I'm gonna put some mats down so that their feet aren't cold when they get up in the morning. Okay, can't turn. There we go. And then one here. Oop, there we are. All right, and then some mats down. Goodness gracious. Rugs always take forever to load. All right, I want the kind of, not the small like doormat one. I want the kind of like big bath mat one. This one, yeah. I mean, they're gonna have to share it, but you know, that's fine. Okay. All right, and then I wanna put up some wall decorations in here. A couple of flags. Um, I'm gonna put this one on this wall. I like to use the wall decorations to kind of also help kind of plug holes in walls so that, you know, they may not be, the, the buildings might not be as drafty as they appear. Okay, there, all right, nice. Okay. All right, so then the barracks are well, pretty done. I mean, they're not supposed to have a whole lot of decoration. These are barracks after all. All right, and then I got to put a door on. Um. Well, what kind of door do I want? I don't think I want this one. Maybe the same one as the office. Something secure. Yeah, I think this one. Okay. I know I don't usually like to use the same like repeated textures over and over again, but I don't know. I want it to be able to lock. I don't have a lot of space left here, so I wonder what I could put here. Hmm. Oh, wait, I also have to put a wall in here. Oh, wait, hey. you're new. Hey, why don't you um be a guard? Thank you. Got defense up now, okay. Now the question is here, if I put a fence in, 
Is it going to be taller? Hold on. Is it going to be taller than the than the turret? I might not even be able to do this, honestly. I mean, I can rug glitch it for sure, but like, I can't. Hmm. The other thing too is that now this building is kind of in the way of the turret, so let's let's move the turret actually. Let's put it in this spot. I like this spot for the turret. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't want to. Don't want to go out of the workshop area. Okay, scaffolding. Let's get this guy back in here. Actually, can I do the big one? Did that work? Or is it too big for the? Yeah, it's too big for that spot. Okay. We'll just put this one down. All right, and then I need the floor. And then let's go back to defense. Get that turret in here. There we go. All right, now it's got a much better vantage point, just like our new guard station up in our guard tower. Are they? I hope they're using this. I haven't seen either of them move. Usually they move. But yeah, so these guys are only going to have a good vantage point kind of like from the road. They have to kind of shoot around these two buildings. But this one, because it's up higher, can see a lot more of this road, a lot more of the enemies coming in. So I'll probably have to put another one along this edge here. And then maybe one along that edge over there. And then I think that's good for the guard turrets. Other than that, our enemies are probably only going to come from the water. You know, like Mirelurks and stuff. Okay. Oh, we got another one? That was fast. Um, I don't know what... Okay, I don't have anything for you to do just yet. Uh, I may add you to defense later, but... We need people farming in on water. We have five people and only three water. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Well, um, that's also going to have to be a future thing, probably. I have to build a whole water station. Oh, let me fix this really quick. The, this gap here needs to be handled. Okay. I keep thinking of like all these projects I need to do and I'm <laughs> forgetting the ones that I was going to do for this episode. All right. We got our floor mat. Let's get a junk fence. Mm. I think this one. All right. Are you going to work? Yay. Alright, I'm just going to fit it into this gap here, and I'm going to try to make sure it doesn't, like, clip too much into the building. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Could probably go a little further this way. Whoop, too much. Okay, now let's make sure it's not clipping too bad into the building here. It is a little bit. I don't like that much clipping through. So let me try moving it a little bit. Turning a smidgen this way, maybe. Coming out. Okay. Whoop. Thank go up the stairs. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Ugh. Okay. Oh, that's so much better. That's much better. I'm going to move it over a little bit, though. All right. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You can't even tell it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to leave that. All right. All right. So I know this one's a little bit of a short one today, but this is everything that we had planned for this episode. We got our wall kind of patch there. Let me shut this gate so we can see the nice continuous defensive wall here with this building into the gate, into the oop, into the barracks, and this other guard tower down here. Um, probably, I think in the next episode, I'm going to figure out how to make this area more secure and build down this way. All right. Um, I don't know. I'll probably do some sort of gate situation. I don't know. This may end up getting moved. I'm not sure. I'm not. I like it how it is. It's really easy to get up and down. But uh, yeah, I want this area secure. So this might end up changing. So we'll see. We'll see. But that'll be in the next episode. 
All right, so again, this is everything here for this episode at Nordhagen Beach. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with my build here at the Nordhagen Beach Settlement. Um, and as always, thanks for watching.